What is up everybody and how are you guys doing today? Thank you for tuning in David's Fish Domain. Um, I got something in store for you today. Um, today I actually bought a fish at my store that I work at and it's been there for like maybe a um, month, maybe two or so. Um, everybody's been passing by it and you know what I've been having I've been having my eyes on this for like a long time, just never pulled the trigger on buying it. But you know, today I was like, um, I just had to give it a better home. But it's been acclimating for at least 30, 35 minutes or so, um, more than usual. But um, I think it's ready to um, be in his new home. If you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell what kind of fish this is, but you guys see it when I open the bag. All right. Do you guys know what kind of fish this is? I've been always wanting one of this. And I think it looks so good in my peacock bass tank. It's a Ripsaw catfish. As you can tell by the blades on the side here. Oh look at this, it's letting me pin them. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, that's pretty pokey. Alright, let's put him in his new house. Come on. Ooh, that's weird. He gave me that little vibration when I when I held him. Oh, wow. Every single time I touch him, he gives me this vibration. Um, I also read that it's also called a talking catfish as well. Um, maybe that's why, but... I really don't want to put him in the net so his serrated fins get caught. But let's do this quick and simple. Oh wow, he's talking. Can you hear him? He was talking. Oh, he's, he, oh wow, you hear it? Alright, let's add him in. Oh wow, look at that. Everybody's all like, who is this guy? Yeah, he'll, he'll do super good in here. I'm so glad that nobody's picking on him. Give him some time to adjust. Oh, okay. That was... So that's my hybrid. Red tail Tiger Chauvinot's hybrid. He was showing who's boss. That's his territory right there. So I'm just gonna keep tabs on him for a while. And see if everything is okay. Hopefully he does well here. They just need to warm up to him. But yes, this is my peacock bass tank. Um, just love it. Love the scaping of it.
Comment below what you guys think of my um, peacock bass take. Should I add more peacocks or should I just like leave it as is? Um, I kind of want to add a little bit more peacocks uh, bass in just to make it a little bit more full. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Comment below and let me know if I should just add more. I, because I'm, I'm always searching for a different kind of breed. And so far, I only have four in here. So I have the Tamensis, the Orino, um, the Ocellaris, and the Azul. I just have a couple more to go. I love that clown roach. Seems like he's doing pretty well. Nobody's picking on him so far. I guess he just needs time to just get used to the tank. I thought he was probably like the same size as my um, hybrid, but I guess my I've been high, I've been feeding my hybrid pretty well, so he grew pretty fast. He was the same size when I um, put him in, so. He seems like he's getting used to the tank. Yeah, usually when I introduce new fish into a new habitat or a new tank, it, um, I like to sit here and just watch um, if there's any aggressiveness uh, towards the new fish. And if there are, then I'll take them out and move them to a different tank. But as for now, if any, everything is, looks good, so um, maybe I'll just leave him in here before anything. Here's a side view of it, my tank. Wow, this side view looks really nice. I tried to leave my tanks simple, but in like a natural looking way. I think it came out really, really nice. I always had like black substrate and never had sand and I'm starting to love putting sand in my substrate. That's why I put this guy in here because um, at work he had a sand substrate and he was just shifting around um, down there so I was thinking that this would probably be a better home for him.
I guess it's just gonna take some time for him to get used to the tank. But I guess as the time being, let's go check out some feedings. I, n I haven't fed them yet, so they're pretty hungry. So let's see them go crazy hitting this. And just like that, all gone. Oh, look who took over somebody's territory. So underneath the driftwood, it's usually this guy's, he's usually hanging around it. Seems like he's been I have no clue what the clown roach is doing to him. Wondering if they're being friends? Is the clown roach trying to clean him? Well, I think he should be fine. As long as he's not getting beat up. At least I have a clear mind that he won't die in the morning, so... Alright. Seems like my hybrid's kind of scared of him. Alright, well, seems like everything's in order.
Well, this is the end of the video, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in and um, watching me unbag my new Ripsaw catfish. Um, please like the video. Um, please subscribe as well. If you want to um, see more videos, please uh, ring the notification bell to get um, notified that my uh, new posting. And I'll see you on my next video.